Hello and welcome to this full beginner's guide of how to use the CapCut video editor. Now CapCut, as you can see, is here on my iPhone. Uh, it is available for um, you know Android, iOS, Mac, and PC uh, to a certain extent. Uh, and I'm going to be walking you through the mobile version of CapCut today because that's what most people are wanting to learn. There are desktop tutorials and I'll have one coming down the line as well. So here we are, download CapCut and then go ahead and open up the video editor. The first thing you're going to see is a whole bunch of templates. Uh, a lot of people like to use the templates that CapCut provides. Uh, they're user generated. Uh, most of them are. Uh, and you can use them to uh, you know, input or insert your own video. Uh, apply the templates to that and then upload it uh, as vertical video to TikTok or any other uh, available short form video platform. But what we're going to be doing today is editing video uh, from the beginning and, and showing you exactly how to do that with CapCut. So here we are, when we open up, we tap on the edit tab there at the bottom, the scissors icon. And then we're going to see a bunch of different things. At the very top, if we tap on expand, we'll see camera, AI images, retouch, and you may see a few different things reorganized slightly differently depending on when you're watching this video. But what we want to do is we want to create a new project very easily. You just tap on that big blue box there that says new project or the new project icon there, and then it will go ahead and ask you to insert or add some video. So you want to go ahead and import some video. So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and tap on a few different video clips here from your device. So you can see uh, they're numbered one through however many you select, one being the first one uh, in the timeline, and then however many you select being the last. And then we can either do collage or add. We want to tap on add to add those to our video. Now, this is going to be the main interface of CapCut when you're editing video. So as you can see here, you have your playhead, which is the line going up and down here in the in the timeline the playhead lets you know where you are in the video so at the very top there you're going to see a preview of what the video looks like and in order to go left to right like I'm doing and showing you here in the video you just tap and hold with your finger there in the timeline which is at the very bottom here uh, of the screen and you just drag left or right to rewind or fast forward a specific video now how do you select a specific video clip? Well, it's very easy. You just tap on it one time and it'll be highlighted with a white border around it. Now, if the video clip has audio, uh, what you could do is you could either detach the audio, which is what I like to do to get going. So what I like to do is tap on a video clip there and then at the very bottom, you're going to see the different things that you can do with that video clip. So if we scroll to the right here, you can see where it says extract audio. So we can tap on extract audio and it's going to show you the waveform there of the audio. This allows us to manipulate and edit the audio separately from the video. So if you want to add like background music or a background voiceover separate from what the video kind of generically was with, you just basically tap on that audio and then you can see here there's a delete or trash can button there. If we just tap on that, that immediately just deletes and removes the audio from that selected clip. So what do we do if we want to move a specific clip around in the timeline? I love the way CapCut does this. You just tap and hold on a clip, and as you can see, it zooms out and shows you how many clips you currently have in your timeline, and you can just ba basically hold as you're tapping and holding and drag that clip wherever you want it in your timeline. Let's go ahead and not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and show you all the, di the different tools here at the very bottom. So we're going to have edit, so that's going to allow us to edit the specific clip. And if you ever tap on a tool, you can always tap on the back arrow there to get back to the previous set of tools. Next, we have audio. If we tap into audio here, you're going to be able to add sounds uh, natively to CapCut. Uh, if you tap on sounds there, you can see the latest and trending sounds. And then you can even link to TikTok to get sounds from there. It's, if that's something that you want to do. And then basically you would just like tap on trending here and then you'd find the, the audio that you'd like to use and you would download it or select it and then it would be added as a music bed or a sound bed for that specific clip. Then you have the copyright check feature. This allows you to check your video for copyright infringement. Very, very nice feature. Next, we'll have the effects features. So if you tap into the effects features here, it'll basically bring up a list of effects and different kind of sound clips and things like that. 
those are all listed under the effects options. And then the ratio, this one's very important. Uh, if you're doing vertical video for TikTok, you select 9 by 16. If you're doing like a regular, normal kind of, you know, landscape video on YouTube, you'd want 16 by 9. Now, the beauty of this is that when you select the ratio, let's say we want to make this a 16 by 9 landscape style video for YouTube or whatever it may be, you select that and then tap on the check mark there. As you can see, the, now when you go to your preview there, you're going to have the two black boxes there over to the left and the right. If you had a video recorded in landscape like you see here, you won't see those two black bars on the left and right, but for vertical video, you will. If you ever need to manipulate or move a video around, you can always tap into that video. Not only does it highlight it in your timeline, but it also highlights it in the video preview there. And you basically just tap on it with two fingers and you can just drag your fingers to rotate and manipulate that video. I love this feature. If I want to zoom in, I can basically do the zoom on my phone here by spacing out or spreading out my two fingers. And then I bring them back together to go ahead and bring it, kind of lock it in there with those two white lines. Same thing goes for landscape video. Put your fingers in a circular motion, as you can see, and you can rotate those videos if that is something that you want to do for that specific video. So that's how you adjust the ratio and the export size whenever you are exporting a video here within CapCut. Now, how do we split a video clip? So we had this nice little video clip here of my kids, but I don't like the, the, the latter half of the video. You select and make sure it's highlighted there with the white border in the timeline. When you select a video clip or an audio clip, you will see the specified things that you can do with that clip in the toolbar down below. So you just tap on split there and it's going to split exactly where your playhead is. So again, there's the playhead, that vertical line there. You select the clip, make sure your playhead is where you want to split the clip and go ahead and tap split and it'll split that specific clip. And then if we wanted to, we can go ahead and tap into what we just cut out and then we can go to the delete button here in the toolbar and go ahead and delete that specific clip from our final video. So again, you just tap on a clip there and find what you want. If you ever want to increase the speed of a clip, you just select it, go to speed, and then you either make it normal or curved, and then you tap into normal, and you can make the clip a you know, specified duration. Do you want to increase it? You drag it this way to the right. Do you want to decrease it? You drag it to the left, okay? And that's basically how you would change the speed. And if you wanted to, you could adjust the pitch of the audio as well. Next, I'm going to show you animation. If we select a clip and then tap into animation, You'll see a bunch of different animations for like the clip that will happen if you add that animation. Most of these, you'll see the pro logo. If you ever see the PRO, that means you have to have the premium version of CapCut. But again, if you scroll to the right, you can see that there are a bunch of them where you don't have to have the specific pro version. So if we go here, we can add that nice little fade in effect. We can make it last, say, uh, let's make it last around 1.6 seconds and hit check. And then if we go back and play this, as you can see, it's going to add the nice little fade in effect there. I love adding effects and animations. It just adds a little bit of pizzazz to the overall video feel. Next, we have style. So select the video that you want to add a style to and tap into style. And you can see here, it can add different stylings to your video. There's AI paintings, there's particle ones. And for videos, you would go over to video effects there. And then you can see you can add like a freeze frame there and it'll generate that styling uh, to add it to your video. A lot of them are primarily for photos, but if you go to video effects, you should be able to see the ones that you can apply to your video. So that is stylings. Next, we have camera tracking, volume, edit, and cutout. All of these are fairly uh, simple. I'm not going to talk about camera tracking right here in the beginner video that I'm doing today, but volume is very easy. If the clip has audio, tap into volume, and you can either decrease or increase the volume by dragging this slider, and then you go back and listen to it to see kind of if that's the desired volume that you want. Next is going to be edit. If we go to edit here, it's going to allow us to either mirror, rotate, or crop that specific video. Fairly self-explanatory. Next, we have cutout. If you want to tap into cutout there, you can actually remove the background of videos. You can customize what parts you want to cut out, and you can even add a chroma key like a green screen effect if that's something you want to do. So if we go to remove background, you can basically cut out the stroke or turn off cutout, and it's going to process it, and you can see it's removing the background there above. This, again, is something that 
not a lot of people will use, but if you're trying to have some fun results at the end, maybe that's something that you want. Next, we want to go over and let's take a look at the filters, adjustment, and retouching and masking options. If we go to filters here, this just adds like a filter, what you're familiar with on say Instagram or something of that nature. So if you go to the inception you know, filter here, you can apply it to the clip if that's something you want. You'll see the preview up there. Go to Warlock here. That would apply that feature or that, um, I'm sorry, that filter. So filters are very easy to understand. You can you know, adjust the video quality. You can just do normal adjustments as a filter uh, or the pre-made templates here uh, within CapCut. Uh, and then you can apply that to all clips by tapping on apply to all if that's something that you want. Filters are pretty self-explanatory. Adjustments allow you to adjust just the generic things like brightness, contrast, saturation, exposure, as well as sharpen uh, the look of the video or image. Uh, tap the check mark or save all when you're done, like with everything. And that's really the last you know thing I wanted to show you on the normal tools within CapCut down below. But I do want to show you a little bit about manipulating the video. So what we could do now is, again, let's get to our video clip here on the end. If we tap into that video, you'll see that the start and end points there will have the little gray or white lines at them. If we tap on the ends of a video, we can drag left or right to cut by increasing or de decreasing the duration of that video. So that's how you would basically tap on it and then drag it left or right to basically add your in and out points for a specific video. If you ever want to remove a clip, you just tap on that and go to the delete or trash can option there. So again, just tap in it, go to the delete option there. If you want to add an ending screen, it gives you the option to tap into add ending, and then it'll basically give you a cap cut outro there. But if you wanted to, you could tap into it and add your own. If you ever want to add like an outro dissolve or something like that, you would just go into animations here, and then you would go to say fade in or fade out, and then you would just go and tap on the fade in there and you can see with that clip it'll just fade in just like that uh, so all of those animations are pretty self-explanatory couple more things I want to show you in the toolbar uh, is if we go over to the right here you can stabilize so you'll see a stabilize option so if your video is slightly shaky or a lot shaky you can tap that and CapCut will do its best to stabilize the video next will be opacity this is fairly self-explanatory you drag to the left to decrease you drag to the right to increase so if you want to increase or decrease the opacity or transparency of a video or image, you can just go to the opacity option once your clip is selected and you're good to go. Uh, the freeze, this adds a freeze frame. So the freeze option here, let's say you like this clip here, you got a little more audio than video, you tap into it, put your playhead where you want the freeze frame to be. So tap into that there, go to the full, the right over here, and then go to where you see freeze, tap into freeze, and you can see it adds a nice little freeze frame right there where your playhead is was. So that's how you add freeze frames. So if you want to add text, you just tap on text just like that there and you click on add text and then you just go ahead and add text. And then you can drag by tapping and holding on the little playhead or the uh, video preview there. Tap the check mark and now when you play it back you're going to have that nice little text on top of your video. All right, so now let's talk about once you have your video ready to go, you've got it edited, you've applied all the filters and stylings that you want. How do we export a video? The beauty of CapCut is all you have to do is right up there you're going to see an upward arrow and then 1080p. If you tap on the 1080p drop down, this will show you exactly the resolution that it's going to be exported at, the frame rate, as well as some other details and data points. If you want this to be a video, you keep it on the video tab. If you want it to be a GIF or a GIF, whatever you call it, you tap on that there and it'll create a GIF for you in the desired rate. Now, go ahead and select what you want. We'll do this in 1080p. Then you just tap onto the upward arrow right there in the right-hand corner, and look at that. It begins exporting, and the white border will begin to go around your video, and it'll go from zero to 100%, and once it reaches 100, you're good to go. So we're gonna fast forward and show you what that looks like. Once it's completely exported, you can play it back by tapping the play button there or you can share it to TikTok or any other social network, or if you're like me, you tap on the other option there, and I like to send it via AirDrop to my Mac Pro, but you can do a number of things. You can message it, you can put it back into CapCut or another editor, and that's it. That's how you export it, and you're good to go. Tap Done, and you can see it show up here under your local files. All of your local files within CapCut will be here on the homepage under Edit, right here under 
local. And if you ever want to go back and re-edit or make some changes, you just tap into that video there. And here we are, where we can make more adjustments to the video that we just edited. So really, really powerful mobile editor, probably one of the most powerful, really, to be honest, is CapCut, uh, especially the free version. And again, I'll have links to that in the description. If you have any further questions about how to do something that I may have missed here in the video, please put that in the comment section below. If this helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.